Todd, to a certain extent, a job like this, in many ways, has to be kind of like getting the keys to the toy store. How do you feel about this? I feel great about it, and you're right. You know, it's such an honor and a privilege to uh, to be asked to lead the EAA into the future. And and one of the not only is it fun, but it's all things aviation. And when you have a passion for all things aviation, um, not everybody gets to work at the things that they're so passionate about or that they love. Uh, and in that sense, it's a true privilege and a true honor to be able to do that. And I'm very excited about it. Not only am I excited about it, my family's excited about it. Yeah, I can see the smile, so that's a, that's a good start. It's a great start, and you know, we're all smiling. But it's, uh, there's a lot to do. You know, there's a lot of opportunity to grow aviation, and um, the AA is really well positioned to do that, and I'm very excited about moving us forward. And respecting the past, we have such a powerful and a strong legacy. The Pope Bresney family has done such a magnificent job of building a world-class organization, uh, and it's entrusted to my care, and I take that care very serious. How do we bring all sides now into, I mean, to an event like this, we're seeing everything here, but how does EAA service the entire world of aviation going forward? You know, I don't know that you can ever service the entire world of aviation, but I think EAA has such a wonderful approach to welcoming in different facets of aviation. When we have the manufacturers here, we have the engine guys here, we have such a diverse range of home builders and kit builders here. Uh, it, it is the place to see almost everything aviation. I would never say everything, but almost everything. And I think, as Tom said earlier today, uh, we welcome that, and we welcome new and innovative ideas. We welcome new and innovative approaches to, the, to anything in aviation, whether it's the technical aspect of it or whether it's growing the participation of, of aviation. So those opportunities, to me, are, are welcome. And I know that Tom, and before Tom, Paul, um, you remember how small EA was, was 57 years ago. Look what it is today. Think about what it's going to be 15 years from now. Isn't it amazing when you appreciate, you see the past, oh, and you really appreciate the legacy of the past, but there is a bright future out there. And even though we've had a challenging time in the economy, there are lots of opportunities for aviation growth. It's going to require maybe some hard work, maybe some innovation, but you know what? We're, we're all up for it, and I know the EA membership is up for it as well, and our partners and our constituents. EA is very much strongly positioned to grow aviation, probably uniquely so. Um, it is the most diverse and it is the most dynamic aviation organization out there. It's fantastic. Is this organization ready to grow, capable of change, and is it really ready to lead us into the next uh, century? I think it is, and I'll tell you the strength of the organization is not only in the membership and the partners, the strength of this organization is the staff. There's a great staff here. The EA membership is so strong. Uh, we, many of us are, are members of other organizations in the aviation world I'm very proud to be, and we all have the same goal, and that is to grow aviation to see the aviation opportunities expand for all those that participate. And that's our goal and our objective. The EAA has a tremendous amount of strengths. And one of the things that I believe in as a business leader and as a leader is that you build on your strength. This organization has a strong foundation and a lot of passion and a lot of energy. So unleashing all that potential is the job of a leader. And one of the things that I think Paul and then Tom has done in a magnificent way is the volunteerism that's so strong and so much a core part of EAA is an engine that makes things happen. And I'll tell you, this week with this rain, every volunteer that I've talked to and met, every staff member that I've talked to and met, I can tell you, they're tired and they've all worked hard, but they got it done. That can-do attitude, let's make it happen, and everybody pulled together and, 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 and has done a wonderful job. So to the, to the insiders, we know maybe what that work looked like. Mm -hmm. To the participants and all of our folks that come to Oshkosh EAA, they probably don't really realize all that. And you know what, that's exactly what we want it to be. Aero TV is brought to you by. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidine, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidine Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, providing the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.